The wonderful thing about TWIM is we learn about how everything actually works in our brain. And uh, the Buddha actually found what, what he figured out was we are able to retrain our brains. When you train your brain, if you change your mind, you change your life. When you change your life, you change your behavior patterns very naturally, very subtly. These things start to change. They're changing because you don't have so much resistance to life anymore. You are willing to live life with a clear understanding of knowledge and vision of how everything works. So what we what are we doing when we are working with this meditation, this tranquil wisdom insight meditation? We are actually learning to set up a new communication system with our brain to relieve the anxiety in our brain about how everything actually works. And once we understand the impersonal nature of everything, which is an atop, that helps us to understand we don't have to struggle anymore in life. So when you're practicing, the most important thing is that when you sit, you don't move, you just sit still, or if you're walking, you just walk. That means you're not thinking a whole bunch of other things. You're just walking, looking ahead, six feet, eight feet ahead of you, and you're smiling all the time. You keep smiling so that you are sort of like giving the car gas so that the engine keeps running because your smile helps everything operate well in your meditation and in your life. Trust me, if you start smiling, things are going to happen much better for you in business, much better in your negotiations, relationships, board meetings, trustee meetings, everything else that you do in your life. Why? Because you don't have to feel like smiling. But if you start smiling, that takes away the anxiety in your brain so that you see things more clearly and you're working with things just exactly as they essentially are. You are not trying to make them something else. If there is another thought that comes up while you're doing anything, whether it's an itch, heat, a vibration, just never mind it. You know it's there. The moment you never mind that, you let it go, you relax, smile, and come back to what you're doing. Try this today. Start by pretending that you are the loving kindness, you are the compassion as you're living your day today. Remember the kindness is yours. It's part of you naturally. It's only covered up by your worries about the future and your anxieties about the past. So let these things, push them out of the way, just let them go and stay in the present time car while you're driving through life. You no, know, one of the things about loving kindness is we're actually practicing dana, generosity all the time. We are giving. It's a great key to how the practice is actually working. So what you give, you will receive back. Maybe not immediately, but very shortly afterwards, if you're smiling, you bet you're going to receive things back. Now, what you put into something is what you get back. The best things in life might come in little boxes, not big boxes, but in simple ways, life gets easier for you if you follow the instructions that the Buddha left for us. Any hindrances, any blockages, any barriers, they're not enemies. They just need to be understood. Always remember that hindrances are there and happening because you're paying attention to them. So my advice is go through the day. Smile as much as you can. If somebody's not smiling, just give them a smile. 
watch what happens around you when you walk in a room and you're smiling and you look and vibrate with positivity when you go in your room all of this as you practice it makes you feel more confident so i wish for you a good day and think of us while we're in pune we'll be teaching some very interesting folks in in pune and i hope that you have a really great day sadhu sadhu sadhu